everyone, welcome back to RC Bassin. It's Ronnie, and today we're going to install the Drodo Catch and Release Boat Latch on my 2020 Bass Tracker Classic XL. First thing you're going to need is a 3 quarter inch ratchet and a 3 quarter inch box wrench. And of course, you're going to need your Drodo Catch and Release Boat Latch. I ordered this boat latch uh, directly from Drodo. Uh, it was a very quick process. I think it was shipped in within a uh, day and within two days. My boat latch showed up on the front door of my uh, porch and uh, no issues with shipping. Got it right on time. Uh, great customer service from Drodo. Really appreciate that when you make uh, make an investment okay, into your boat. Okay, the first thing you're going to need to do is undo your back straps, which I've already done that. And um, I um, un undid the straps holding my tarp down or my cover down on the sides. And then you want to unlatch your winch and roll some slack off. And then I just simply pushed my boat back. I slid it back enough so that I could get in between the roller and my boat uh, to take the roller off and put my Drodo boat latch on. You can on. see here I've already got the uh, trailer roller off of my uh, boat trailer. And this is going to solve a couple of problems for me. One, I'm not going to have to reach over the front bow of the boat uh, to unlatch it and then um, let it roll off and unhook it. Um, you know, that's, that's kind of dangerous. You can fall in the water, fall between the truck and the trailer. You know, you don't want to get hurt on the boat ramp before you ever get out on the water. Another thing this problem this is going to solve for me. Um, so from time to time, you know, you get the trailer too deep or not deep enough. Um, and you try to power load the boat and uh, you kind of run. You can see those dents in the roller. Um, you kind of run the, the front edge of your tip of your boat right here up into the roller and kind of chew it up a little bit so you can see i've done that a couple times already now when you get your drodo i've already opened this one up um, it looks like it's a pretty simple installation you get your instructions step by step um, you've got your boat release and the thing i like about this one it's a three inch that's what you need to purchase for this boat um, and it comes with the bracket already on it with the roller and it keeps the, the uh, front of the edge of the boat from falling down um, against the top edge of the catch and release scratching up your boat or getting stuck on there um, and then you're having to wiggle the boat around trying to get it off of off of the trailer and off of the latch and um, here's your roller that comes with it and then of course you got your handle and the mounting hardware for your handle so let's get this thing installed and see what it looks like so something you're going to want to pick up that doesn't come with the drodo latch is you're going to want to get some washers for this lag bolt um, if you look here on the installation instructions um, you want to make sure that there's that you don't have too much movement in between your roller bracket and where the drodo uh, catch and release bracket mounts uh, you want it to, to pivot, uh, but you want it to be a little bit tight, but, but not so tight as the latch can't pivot. But you don't want it sliding around side to side. Uh, so I picked up a couple of extra washers uh, to put in there to kind of help tighten that space so up. So I've got the Drodo installed. I only ended up using one washer on each side. Kind of make sure it fit in there snug. I put a couple of extra washers out there on the end so I just didn't have so much bolt sticking out installed the, the roller up here at the top put my winch strap back on the boat cranked it up and as you can see pulled it right up and it latched right in no issues so now all that's left to do is install the handle all right there you go the drodo boat latch catch and release boat latch is installed I got the handle put on. I'll probably put a little piece of rope or a snap ring on here so I can pull the rope back here and release the boat. So you'll be able to hear the uh, the catch release. So it's released right there. Of course, I've still got the strap or the uh, winch strap connected. Um, and then we'll roll it back up here so it, the jaws re-engage. And she's back on. Okay. Hope you like this video. Uh, check out Drodo. Go over there to um, Drodo Catch and Release Boat Latch. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, we're going to take this thing out on the lake tomorrow and see how it works. Have some more video follow-up for you. Hopefully we can get some footage of uh, launching the boat and retrailing it 
using the Drodo catch and release boat latch. Thanks. As always, take care of tight lines and hook them up.